Hey guys, it's Kaz here, aka Cats and Camera, and today I'm doing my August wrap up. So, after the pretty awesome month of July where I read 12 things, I knew I was not going to do anything close to that in August, and I ended up reading four books. Just want to mention a, a quick channel thing first though. Ever since I started this channel, I've never actually had a proper upload schedule. I've just done it randomly and then I forget when I've uploaded and then I don't up upload for ages. So for the first time ever, I've actually written out a schedule. So for this month at least, I'll be posting Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. And I'm gonna see how that goes, see if I feel like it's too much. Maybe cut it down to two a week or keep it as three. We shall see after this month. So look forward to a lot more content and a lot more regular on this channel. Oh, also just a side note, two of the four of these books I haven't actually got with me and I like holding something up so I've got two other books instead. You'll see when we get there. So yeah, let's just get into it. So the first thing I read this month was What They Always Tell Us by Martin Wilson. This is a contemporary book. It's about, it's basically about these two brothers and them sort of drifting apart and then trying to see if they can get back together and be closer again. So we have James who is very athletic, he's waiting for his college applications to go through. He's very much all about getting into where he wants to get to and pushing himself to achieve his dreams. And we also follow his younger brother Alex who has had a fallen out with his group of friends, he's pretty much a loner now. Something bad happened which you find out quite near the beginning of this and because of that he's kind of stopped interacting with people as much, he's very much a loner and we follow him trying to sort of open up and talk to people and also sort of dealing with the fact that he's gay which isn't that bigger deal in here to him. It's more about the social aspect of what he doesn't like to be around people. And yeah, I really enjoyed this book. I gave it four stars. We have a lot of cool side characters. We've got Henry who's this little boy across the street who won't leave Alex alone so he kind of is forcibly made to have a friendship with this child but it re really helps him along. And also Nathan who is one of James's best friend who sort of strikes up this friendship with Alex because they both really like running and that sort of develops into feelings so yeah definitely suggest giving this a try if you want just a, a cute contemporary. There are trigger warnings in this for self-harm in a way. I don't want to say too much because I don't want to give away what happened but yeah if any any of that sort of thing is something you can't read about then probably give this one a miss. Next up and the first of the books I don't actually have on me I read Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare obviously this is Lady Midnight but I lent it to my sister so I don't actually have it at the moment if you want to know what I thought about this book then I'll leave my review below it's almost half an hour long it's very spoilery so if you haven't read it then don't check it out but if you have then do I had a lot of mixed feelings about this, I gave it 3.75 stars. It's so weird to keep looking at this and it's clearly Lady Midnight. But yes, Lord of Shadows. Yeah, because I liked Lady Midnight so much, Lord of Shadows was kind of a little bit of a disappointment for me because of a lot of aspects that I really liked in Lady Midnight. For example, the relationships between the siblings and stuff like that. Like I say, check out my review if you want to find out everything that I thought about it but if you are a Cassandra Clare stan that can't hear anything bad about her then probably give it a miss because I do rant about quite a few things which I think is a good thing because she's almost untouchable on booktube so it's nice to have different opinions hopefully. Lord of Shadows took me like nine days to read and Lady Midnight only took me two days so that just kind of shows how much I kind of wasn't feeling it as much, it was quite slow paced, but yeah, check out my review for all of my thoughts. Next is the second of the books that I don't have on me, and that was Storm and Siege, no that's not how you say it, 
And that was Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo, the second book in the Grisha trilogy. I borrowed this and that one for the library and I've already given that one back in and I'm currently reading this one. I'm not really sure what it is about the Grisha trilogy but I really like the characters, I really like the magic and all these different Grishas and the way they have different magic. I like, like I say, the storyline, I like the characters but there's just something about these books that are not as engaging as I thought they would be for me personally. Which is weird because I really like everything about them but also it's not something that I rant and rave about. This one I also gave 3.75. Maybe 3.5, I'm not sure. Well, Siege and Storm, I like this one more. But yeah, Siege and Storm. Like I say, I really don't know what it is about it. Maybe it's the writing style, I don't know. There's just something about this series because I bought the first one I found it in a charity shop and I read it and then I wanted to borrow the second and third from the library because I didn't like it enough to want to buy it so yeah hopefully it ends well like I say I am reading the third one at the moment and I enjoy this a lot more than the other two so we shall see whether my opinion in the whole series changes after the last one or whether it's just a bit of a meh series for me I feel like I haven't actually explained the last two books but everybody on booktube knows what Lord of Shadows is about and they probably know what this is about as well so you'll be fine. And last but not least I read The Year of Ice by Brian Malloy I think that's how you pronounce it. This one like the last one also took me a week to read but I was reading this over Leeds Festival so every night I would get back to where I was staying at like 11 o'clock and read a few chapters which is probably why it took me so long. But yeah this is another contemporary book. This is very much about family. It's set in the 70s. This follows our main character Kevin and it follows him through about a year of his life and it's a few years after his mum had died and that's a big part of this book him trying to figure out whether it was an accident or whether she did it on purpose because of these things that she found out about his dad. And yeah, it's very much a family drama. There's new girlfriends of his father. There's a lot of stuff at school that he's trying to deal with. He's also gay and in the 70s. So that's very much a thing that he doesn't want people to find out about himself. But the sexuality bit does take quite a bit of a backseat. This is definitely more a family drama. And I really enjoyed this one. I gave it sort of a 3 or a 3.5. That probably doesn't sound like I really enjoyed it, but... I feel like if I read it in one go I probably would have enjoyed it more but because it took me so long and because it's just sort of a contemporary so there needs to be something really wow to be really high but definitely something to check out if it sounds like something you'd be interested in even though I described it really badly. So there we have it, the four books-ish. Let's pretend that those two are different. The four books that I read in August I'm not too mad about it. I did want to participate in the Tome Topple readathon, which did include Lord of Shadows in my TBR for that one. But I wanted to get to A Dance of Dragons, which is one of my goals this year, is to finish that book because I literally started it in 2015. And I'm actually further back than I was because I moved my bookmark back two or three chapters which in his books the chapters are so long so that's probably like 50 pages just so I remembered where I was and I read one chapter so I'm actually two chapters back from where I was but yes I got these two books Siege and Storm and Ruin and Rising from the library so I wanted to get them read because obviously they have a time limit on them I really need to read A Dance of Dragons we shall see when that happens. So yeah, tell me down below what you read in August or if you've read any of the books I talked about and what you thought about them. Like I say, if you had have read Lord of Shadows, then check out my review below. It's long, but I feel like it's it goes quickly because I don't shut up. <laughs> if this is your first video by me and you like it, then please check out some of my others. And if you continue to like them, then please subscribe. That'll be awesome. Like I said, I am trying to be more consistent with uploading so 
if you do subscribe there will be more videos regularly <laughs> anyway guys i will see you in a few days i'll actually see you in a few days with another video bye okay bye